Let's see how good this is. Works just as intended. And I don't have any more to place. There we go. Now we do. And I can just grab a bunch of these because I am going to need this because I just realized that um, while I may have just skipped that and gone straight for the upgrade, problem is there's a quest for the Living Rakea. <laughs> so I'm going to need that among the other items to get. Whoa, what did I just get? I've got I've got 12. Okay. So that should give me six. That'd be that might that'd be pretty close. That might actually do it. I've got eight living rock, which is not enough. I don't have any more stone here. Oh, but I've got this here so I can just make it. Okay, now I can make it. So to make this, we're going to need the same thing as before. Uh, just a bunch of those and wow, that was terrible. So a hoe, a shovel, a pick, and then we need the sticks. Put that down here. We're going to do this, 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 and then sword. Wait, there actually is a sword. 5.5! What? That's really good. <laughs> That's a really good sword. Okay. Even more incentive. Is that still Aot Botany? <laughs> okay. Unexpected. Now, the only thing is, though, this is going to repair with Mana Steel, but it is going to have so much more durability that it's going to be ridiculous. And once that's done... Oh, I've got enough already. So I can just make... What do I need? Uh, two sticks for the axe, and then we should be good. There we go. And then I can make the Living Rock AI. Yeah. Yay! Is there a quest for the... Oh, I did get the Man of Steel and the Man... <laughs> okay, so those are quests as well. Excellent. Oh, and then there's the uh, Elementium one. Of course, it's gated behind the uh, Elven Gateway, or Alfheim Gateway. But, yeah, that should work. Oh, that emptied out my inventory very nicely. So, I have stuff that I could use over here, but I think... I think I'm just going to... Oh, I've got my magic pouch on me. There really needs to be a way that I can just shut this thing off. If you guys know of it, let me know. Because right now I'm just going to hit, hit, get rid of those. Oh, that's so much better. And I am going to hang on to both my wooden laser gun and my flint laser gun because this one, I thought it regenerated the power in it. It doesn't. It just regenerates its own durability. Now the flint one that I have, which is actually in my pouch, does have... Where is it? Uh, full power, and its durability is, <laughs> is 30. That is really ridiculous. <laughs> if I could drain the power out of it, maybe that would be a good battery cell for the, for the, the wooden laser gun. But anyway, that worked out well. I've got that all set, squared up. I've got an upgrade for my tool, which is nice because I really am trying to avoid the Tinker's Construct stuff if only because it's what a lot of people always rush for, inclu myself included. I'm, I'm completely guilty. But I feel it's not quite as magical feeling. Now, I realize there are quests for the Tinker's Construct stuff, you know, to get you through all these. I might just do it just to get them created um, at some point, because it, it looks pretty basic. Um, but we shall see. Uh, for now, though, I'm enjoying just going through these different items. So let's grab all the rewards. What do we got? Common crate, cosmetic crate, and a food crate. Boo. I was hoping for uncommon. Anyway, mana diamond. Wait, raining again? I just slept. Oh, but then the night went by and I didn't sleep. Oh my gosh. All right, well, the sun's almost down, which means that I should be able to sleep soon. And I can grab a diamond here. Just do that real quick. That should be pretty easy. And before I go, let's put my magic pouch here so that I don't need to worry about it picking stuff up. I need to put a chest over here just so I can put that in it that isn't going to be fed to uh, trees or fed to flowers. we we'll go mana diamond get. It's going to have a lot of uses. Thunder caller. If only I had under air bottles. Oh, but that means going to the end. Blood moon is rising which means I can't sleep and it's raining. It's the biggest downfall for the blood moon mod. <laughs> you can't make the rain go away. I could enter in commands, but I think that that's still just really cheaty. Anyway, let's continue on with the Akashic Tome quest book. 
Got that. Grab that. Got a cosmetic crate. You know what? Let's see what the cosmetic crates are. Maybe they're good. Lime crafting table. Crayon glasses. Boo. Those those are pretty crappy. Oh, but this lime crafting table might might be better here. I'm probably gonna lose this uh Viva crafting table. I don't know, what do you think? It won't stand out as much. I don't know. I will set it here for now. I'll figure it out once I've got the um once I've got my pouch on me again. <laughs> See, now I need my pouch now that I'm over here. <laughs> All right, let's open up this Akashic Tome and see what else we can con uh, move to. Nightmare fuel? Spirit fuel? Living Rock Bonsai Pot? Wait, what? Living Rock Bonsai Pot is a mystic version of the Bonsai Pot, but it can use mana to boost growth. Needs a Bonsai Pot manager. Oh, okay, so you can use it as a... That makes sense. I, I'm fine with just using my other stuff, but... Imagine I'll want to do that for the random crate at least. Bonsai Pot Manager. Bonsai Pot Manager can speed the growth of any nearby Bonsai Pot. Notes, it needs to be fed with a mana spreader. Oh, so you need this. And this. <laughs> needs a Bonsai Pot Manager nearby for it to work. Okay. Magical Bonsai Pot Enhancement. That's curious. Runic Altar, of course. Mana Charger, what is that? The Mana Charger allows you to charge discharge items from mana without having to drop them on mana pools. Oh. Oh, that's what I need while I've got my freaking magnet going on here. So that's what I'm going to go for, Mana Charger. Let's do this. Mana Charger. Let's put that on the list of things to create. Oh my gosh, that is... Some of these things are just stupid easy to make. Okay, let's do this. Make that. And then I just need some sticks, right? Let's dig these up. And do I have any wood? Nope, I don't. Grab a stack. Place. Okay. And I could put the mana diamond. Uh, let's put that up here for now. Just so that I'm not losing it or something. What's in the common crate? Four dry bone chunks. Those would be good for Solus at some point uh, once I get into it. And five green unstable fruits. <laughs> I don't want to eat those right now because I feel that's going to blow up. And Till Ashk has joined the game. Welcome. So, continuing on, uh, I needed sticks. Uh, which I think I just... Yeah, I made too many. One, two. And I think that should be it for it. Put those away. All right, so let's make this mana charger. See if I just click it on here or what? Oh, neat. So if there's some... Blood Moon sucks. Yes, it does. <laughs> yes, it does. Go away. Adds cool lighting. That's about it. I don't like that it brings in all sorts of mobs. Um, So <laughs> if I want to infuse something, do I have anything I can even infuse? Toss in there? I don't think I do. Uh, maybe I do. I don't know. But, uh, I think I just click it instead of dropping it. And that allows me to just place it. Let me grab a bit of, uh, iron, I think, would be good. I didn't leave any in there, but I've got some here. I'll make some mana steel that I could potentially convert, maybe? Okay. So... Is it, is it doing it? Okay, what, what's it say? Mana Charger. I need to look it up in the book. Because, like I said, these are new things for me right now. So bear with me. Those that have used these before, hey, sometimes you just got to learn this stuff. Mana Charger. Okay. How often did you forget about your Terra Shatterer floating in the pool? Now you can sleep well. Oh, this is for charging stuff. Oh! Okay, so like a tablet or... A, yeah... You just click it on here and it stays, and it'll... Okay. But otherwise, I still will need to throw things. Yep. In order for it to work. Does it just go through it? No, I still have to toss it on the side. But it's at a good... It's, it's actually really nicely made. It's a very inobtrusive, unless you're standing directly on top of it. So that works pretty good. Uh, for the most part. Let's see if I can pick these up. There we go. I now have seven mana steel ingots that I'm just going to pop on the side here. 
put them next to the mana diamond. And then we're going to go back to the quest book and see what else we can continue on with. Mana charger, get with a random crate. We've got a builder crate. Those can be good. 64 monochrome bricks. Hmm. I would have hoped for some magical purpley bricks. Maybe I can use these to make some... No. <laughs> well, then I, I have 64 monochrome bricks. <laughs> All right. Moving on. What else do we have? We have nightmare fuel and, of course, the alchemy catalyst. I'm familiar with this. I'm familiar with that. I want to know what this is about. Nightmare fuel. Um, in fact, I want to read up on it real quick. Let's see what it says. Uh, nightmare. Wait. Nightmare fuel. Nightmare fuel is an advanced fuel created by mana infusion. It seems to be edible. You throw coal in there and you get this, which burns for a thousand. It burns for less time, but it's edible. The brain trembles. Wait, what? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> what was the other quest? Spirit fuel. Okay. So what is spirit fuel? Spirit. No. Uh, fuel. No, gosh, I typed out too many things. Uh, fuel. No, it's not even in there. Okay, so spirit fuel. Let's look it up in here. Spirit fuel from Extra Botany. Doesn't say anything about it. Does it say it in here? No. What the heck? Why do I even want to make spirit fuel? <laughs> it doesn't tell me anything about it. All right, well. Wrong button. <laughs> Almost fell into the void. <laughs> Whoopsie. Uh, I need some coal. I've got a block of it. Let's do that. We'll throw this. Well, I will convert it to regular coal first. Do I have any just sitting? I do. I don't need to convert this. I can put it back and reform it. Put it back in the chest. Jeez, sometimes. Let's get a couple of these. How do I make spirit fuel spirit fragment divine spirit spirit fuel doesn't even have a recipe wait what how do i make spirit fuel if i don't know how to do it, it requires mana pool and spirit fuel requires okay i'm very confused but let's try it i will try tossing this in i have my bag on me i do that's going to cause some difficulty once again. Uh, what I can do, though, is I'm not putting it in here because then it just it messes up the NBT weird stuff. Just trust me, it messes things up. So, or it can, it can mess things up. Let's take this. Nightmare fuel. And if I toss that, it doesn't do anything. Quest complete. Do I have to eat the stuff? And that's how I get spirit fuel? I guess in order to eat stuff, all I need to do is just fly around a little bit, and that should just like totally drain <laughs> any any need for. Uh... Come on, there we go. So if I eat one of these, let's stand over here so I don't like blow things up. Ooh, deep dark fantasy quest completed. Spirit fuel. <laughs> okay, I got spirit fuel. Blindness 2, weakness 2, slowness 2, and bad luck for probably about 20 seconds. Ew. <laughs> Eat a nightmare fuel. Unbelievable. Dot unbelievable. <laughs> and that did not make me any less hungry. Okay, what can I use these for? Making Judah Oath? Wait, what? Unbound Relic? Oh, that's from Gaia Spirit stuff. Okay. All right, so spirit fuel, as it turns out, is used for multiple things. One is as you can burn it, but more importantly, you can use it to get some really cool items uh, like armor and whatnot. So like the goblin, go goblin slayer armor. And I think every time I need to like eat this, ow, and it takes out a chunk of damage at the same time. Ow, ow. Um, did I eat all my pies? I ate all my pies. Let's heal myself back up a bit. <laughs> That's going to hurt. Man, all right, and I wanted to make um, one of these out of living rock, and wow, that, that really makes that 
rainbow, very bright. <laughs> um, do I have enough for that? I've got eight, and I think I had some slabs. I've got six over here. What happened to those slabs? That I there they are. So I should be able to make a living rock. Because if you look at the spirit fuel used for it, obviously you can make a Judah Oath, which I have no idea what that is, but you have to have Gaia Spirit ingots with, and gilded mashed potatoes, which I don't have that until I kill like Gaia Guardians. Um, but here in a living rock pedestal with a mana steel hammer, you can turn it into spirit fragments. And then those have a further crafting use for like, you know, bottled stars and different cosmetic items, as well as on a runic altar, you can make photonium, which can be used to make the Goblin Slayer set, which just looks really cool, as well as a challenge ticket. I have no idea what that is. Shadowium. Call of the Void. But that, of course, requires Gaia Spirit. But still, interesting stuff. And I'm curious about this whole Man of Steel hammer bit. I need to fix those because those are not displaying the, um, where is it? This. The quantities. There we go. I can put that back. There we go. Um, so that's kind of a thing. What is a Man of Steel hammer? I'm kind of going down a rabbit hole here, but sometimes I just need to find these things out in order to learn them. I'm still curious about these like boomstick Tinker's Construct stuff. If anything, I want to make those. Uh, Man of Steel Hammer. Well, that's not bad at all. I just need some of the living wood to make this, the twigs or the sticks. Twig. Yeah, it's a twig. And then six of these to make the hammer. And in order to make the living rock... There's a ton of living rock stuff here. Uh, pedestal. Oh, so it doesn't even need slabs, but I do need some kind of pedal. Let's make it... Which one do I have more of? Any? That one. I think it'll use any. I'm not sure. Do this, and one of the... Where'd the pedal go? There it is. No, it's not going to work. It has to be a gold nugget. Okay. Uh, do I have gold? I got gold. I've got gold. I could do this right here. Okay, we can do this. Recipe, go. Living rock pedestal. I have no idea how this works. Connect. Craft a living rock pedestal, which is that in here as some kind of advancement? No, I don't think it is. Still, I'm curious how this works because it's it says like hammer living rock pedestal, and spirit fuel. So if I put this down, let's set it here for now, and I have spirit fuel, uh, use for this, living rock pedestal, onto a hammer. <laughs> See, I'm confused how this works. Oh. No? Oh, hey, look at that. Okay, that's pretty nifty. So then if I have an empty hand, I can take it back out and I got a small one. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, and I got two spirit fragments. I got individual spirit fragments from that. I guess it is a thing. And that's going to take a lot to make the photonium. <laughs> Ugh, which will make the Goblin Slayer stuff which I think is going to look really darn cool. I have no idea, but it's worth it's worth a try. Eventually, I will need a runic altar. I'll need elementium, which means uh, Gaia. Uh, not Gaia. Um, well, yeah, probably a fight with Gaia as well. But let's move this somewhere else. I don't know what this does. Four damage, not much durability, not a very good attack speed. Meh. Let's move this elsewhere. I could probably put it, <laughs> probably put it here, and then put the um, hammer in there, because why not? And the rain stopped. It's a sign. <laughs> oh, hey, give me that. <laughs> All right, let's put a bunch of this stuff away. Uh, I think I still have some gold nuggets that need to go in here. In fact, I'm going to grab the gold that it, I'll just leave the gold in there. It doesn't matter. 
mana steel ingots I need to put up top. And the rest of it doesn't even belong. Ah, spirit fragments. Those are important. Put those in here. There. I'm feeling a little bit better. So let's continue on with a bit more questing. Because this is really getting interesting into a lot of different stuff. A terrestrial agglomeration plate. Ooh. The alchemy catalyst is going to be helpful. That is definitely going to be helpful. Oh, tasks. Alchemy catalyst and dimension catalyst. Does that push me into another dimension? Oh, is that how I get to the midnight? This is start this chapter. You first need to complete the Elven Gateway core quest. Okay, so no, that that's probably going to be something to do with the Elven Gateway. Um, let's grab these rewards and see if I get anything good. I got a common crate and a cosmetic crate. Meh. Cosmetic, I got it. Oh, that's actually one of the better masks, I have to say. And four normal bone gears for Solus. I'm getting some Solus stuff. Can I put this on my face? That looks really weird. I'm going to keep the Ugu eyes instead. So let's continue on with this. Sorry, get distracted with rewards. Alchemy Catalyst. That's going to be important. Uh, catalyst. And then also I'm going to remove that because it's not very good. Uh, Alchemy Catalyst requires brewing stands. Wow, they look so cool in this. I like that. I wonder how they look in, like, if they change how they look once you place them down on the ground. But that's blaze rods, which can be made with separators. Can be made with other ways. Oh, of course, that's a... Oh, dimension catalyst, that's the duplication effect. Okay. You're fighting, of course, blazes, which I might even have some sitting over there, because I think I fought a, a few. There's, like, a blaze room that I found. You know what? That sounds like an excellent idea. Let's go into the nether because I found a whole bunch of really interesting stuff being able to fly around with uh, my wings. Um, let me just get myself set up, uh, empty out my inventory of all this cosmetic gear and whatnot, and we can go explore. I think that'll be fun.